More salt in North Ant's wounds as Sussex set up victory chants. A partnership of 309 between Ben Brown and Chris Jordan had put Sussex in control at Northampton and they pressed home their advantage on day two by reducing the home side to 242 for six at the close, still 180 runs behind. North Ants had lost skipper Alex Waitley to concussion before day two and were forced to make another change after Luke Wood was hit on the helmet before the close of play. Brett Hutton their second replacement going into day three. And the new man was soon in action after the overnight pair of Proctor and Overton had added 22 to the total. Overton LBW to Luke Wells for 19 and Hutton came in at 264 for seven. His stay was a brief one, caught by Finch off Jordan for just two. North Ants were in danger of conceding a big first innings lead, but Proctor and Newman Buck soon avoided the follow on and launched into the Sussex bowling on a pitch that was certainly helping the batsmen. Buck was the more aggressive of the pair and raced past Proctor's score with a string of boundaries, eventually bringing up his 50 off just 68 balls with his ninth four. But after that he was gone for 51, Sakande having the last laugh as Brown took the catch. And on the brink of lunch, North Ants lost their final wicket. Sanderson bowled by Briggs for 12. Proctor left high and dry on 49 not out in a total of 368. Sussex would begin their second innings with a lead of 54 in the afternoon session. Their bid to extend that advantage and make life tricky for the home side on the final day got off to a steady start. Phil Salt hit a couple of boundaries and once he was set, the opener really raced through the gears. He pulled Overton for four and two balls later drove another boundary through the offside. The Sussex lead passed 100 and when Salt dispatched his ninth boundary down to fine leg he reached his sixth first class 50 of just 58 balls. But four balls later he lost his opening partner when Haynes edged Buck to second slip where Overton took the catch. But Salt carried on regardless and took a particular liking to Rob Keogh's off spin. He hit two fours and then a huge six from consecutive balls as he moved into the 80s. Salt wasted little time in adding the runs he needed to complete a superb century from just 90 balls, bringing up his tongue with an off drive off Overton. And there was one more maximum before Salt's onslaught came to an end. After hitting Overton for consecutive fours, he tried it again and was caught in the deep by Cobb for 122 of just 104 deliveries. That signalled T with Sussex 170 for two and their lead already an imposing 224. The hard work continued in the evening session for the North Ants bowlers as Sussex attempted to set up a declaration, but Luke Wells perished for 36, caught in the covers for Overton's second wicket. As the visitors threw the bat in search of more quick runs, Finch holed out on the boundary to give Sanderson his first wicket. But that just brought Ben Brown to the crease, full of confidence after his first innings 150. Sure enough, he was soon building another decent partnership with Van Zale as the Sussex lead moved past 300. Van Zale reached his half century first, courtesy of three successive fours off Buck. Brown followed him to 50 off just 52 balls just before stumps to continue his superb match. And Sussex are firmly in control heading into day four. At 292 for four, they lead by 346 and have a real chance to force a victory, even on such a batter-friendly wicket. <laughs>